basic it, baby. Family, we're back at it again. We're back on the road. Happy New Year. It's a new year, new goals, new opportunities, new plans. Let's get after it. Come with me on this video as we travel up and down the highways and byways. Let's make it happen. It's trucking, baby. It's trucking. It's trucking, baby. Let's do it, y'all. I'm back in the truck. We are headed to Roseville, Minnesota. You say to yourself, now, uh, Pitmaster, Highway Pitmaster, sir, y'all, you you don't you don't go to to Minneapolis, particularly in the winter. I don't. I don't. Unfortunately, I'm chasing the money. So uh, right now it's a little warm down here in the uh, Midwest. It's like 37 degrees. That's warm <laughs> for us. And um, there wasn't any precipitation headed in my path until I just looked at it just now. And there's a snowstorm. I don't know. I don't want to call it a storm. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to keep listening and searching and seeing what type of accumulation we're dealing with. Yeah, it's headed right in my path. So uh, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to pick up a drop and hook today in the Cal, Illinois. It's a load of tires. So I'm going to have to work out this week and uh, get in the box and move the tires to the back. Smaller tires, uh, pick it up at a good gear facility. Uh, it's not going to be truck tires, thank God. But it's going to be a lot of them. A lot of them. It's going to take a go take some hours to get empty. Uh, so that's that's what we're doing. I'm headed to DeKalb now. I'm looking at about an hour and a half dead end over there, but it's en route to my destination, and I'll be in. Uh, I'll be there tonight. I'll be there tonight, and then uh, shut down. Get ready to deliver in the morning get in the box, unload, and then um, I will uh, then head to my next uh, pickup, uh, which I've already lined up. I'm lined up, stacked all the way through next week, through next Monday to be exact. So we're gonna go to north, then we're gonna head straight south to Jacksonville, Florida. We're gonna shoot up to Atlanta to pick up a load, take that to Lima, Ohio, and then come on back home. So that's the plan. As long as nothing doesn't cancel, right? Let's see what happens. So come along with me, family. Let's do it. It's trucking, baby. It's trucking. See y'all in a minute. All righty. I have been in, allowed into the facility here. They're good here in DeKalb. And um, I'm going to drop my empty here in the hole. Go check up back in the office. And uh, get my paperwork in my loaded trailer Get on down the road here. Back today. You know, you're lining yourself up with the other trailers. Then you got a yellow line there you're trying to mark up on. So I'll get the happy medium between the two. Put it in here nice and, nice and straight. Make it easy for the next man or woman. 
and get this trailer and get on down the road. All right, let's get this thing dropped in. Go on to the next step of this process. Talk to you. All right, that was a simple process. I'm um, got my empty. I actually have, excuse me, sorry. I have my loaded trailer, loaded trailer. Uh, this trailer is actually a uh, Landstar lease. It's a premier trailer. Uh, and I guess that Landstar leases. So the number threw me off a little bit because um, it's a 1-8 number. All of our trailers here begins with a six, I believe in most cases it begins with a six. So, so oh, this must be a lease trailer. Found it, hooked up to it. Everything looks fantastic. It's got great tires. Um, yeah, we're gonna get up the road and uh, and make it happen. So now I gotta go back up to the guard shack and um, give them my release paper and then uh, we're gonna get up the road. It's gonna be an adventure, y'all. Um, there is a storm heading towards Minneapolis. So it's gonna be touch and go. We're gonna see, I'm hoping maybe I can get in and out before, which I don't think I will. Maybe I can be getting be there, let it do what it do. They clean up pretty quick up in Minnesota, let it clear out, and then I can uh, come out behind the storm. But then they also, there's some stuff happening down south, man, so it's gonna be interesting. I know I'll miss that. That stuff's gonna be hitting around Tuesday. Tornado potential, winds, ice. Yeah, man, so <laughs> fun times, man. Tis the season, right? But I'm gonna get checked out here and then we're gonna mosey on down the road and head on up to Roseville, Mini, Minnesota. Roseville, Minnesota. Talk to you, man. All right, everything is going smooth on this run. I um, got in and out of the, um, what was that, um, Goodyear with no issues. Pretty, pretty simple process there. But I'm um, up here in Portage, Wisconsin, 108. About to go to this Petro get some diesel. Right now, our um, discount that we get here is uh, it's about over a dollar a gallon. So with the discount and the, um, the fuel tax, it comes out to $3.17 a gallon. So we'll take that. I got to say fuel has been falling, which has been a great thing. It has been falling. Around my neck of the woods, fuel um, about a month or so ago was sitting at five fifty, five forty-five a gallon. It is now four sixty-nine a gallon. Uh, that's at you know on the at the pump. With no discounts, I'd imagine attached to that. So it's falling, which is good. Uh, the question is, what will it do when the high travel season kicks in? Um, you know, late spring, summer. You know, what is it going to do? Is these prices going to, you know, shoot back up again? Uh, watching the rates, rates are kind of steady. Uh, it ain't great, but it's again, I always say this: it's doable. You can make money, but it's just it's 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 a it's a roll of the, of the dice. Fuel is falling. That's a great thing. That's where we need to be at. But you know, I heard forecast this summer where they see you know regular unlead is shooting right back up to you know four dollars a gallon or well, diesel follow that same theme I don't know we shall see right so yeah yeah it's interesting uh fuel island right here I don't know if you can see that guys uh so when I pull up if these trucks remain here Honestly, it's barely enough room to get out. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> so we're going to get some fuel. Um, we want to get up here with a fuel tank. With a full tank. We are expecting some weather. Top my def off. And uh, now we don't have to worry about that. That can be taken care of. I can get in, get out, head back south. And uh, let's keep moving. All right, so let's keep this diesel. Continue up the road. Talk to you soon. Good evening, family. We are in Roseville, Minnesota. Roseville, Minnesota. There's a storm warning in effect starting tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. 
and ends at on Wednesday 6 p.m. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, I'm in it. It's, it's, let's do this. That's why, that's why we get paid the big bucks, right? Let's get it done. Let's do it. Let's get empty. Let's get out of here. Get reloaded. Head south. Get down. Get get as far away from as possible. Hopefully, it won't be that bad. It's a warning, which is good. There's always a, a chance of something blowing to the north or to the south. You know what I mean? It's a warning. So we'll see how it plays out. But um, this load is due here at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. I'm here at 8 a.m. the night before. Um, I'm on their property. I'm actually in the door. This is a high value load. I figured uh, what's better security for this load than to be in the door uh, waiting for them to get here in the morning. So that's the plan. We're going to um, I'm gonna get rested because I got some work to do tomorrow. <laughs> <clears throat> My job is to get the tires and take them to the to the rear, to the back of the um, trailer. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my work in. I'm gonna, you know, try to get the guns working. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, but yeah, we're done. We're here. Uh, everything worked according to plan. They got some snow up here, buddy. Yeah, this doesn't look nothing like it does at my house. They got they got some hill. My son would. Would love to, to jump on some of these snow mountains up here. They they got popped, but this is normal for them. This is it's absolutely normal. So let's get our uh, club man started. Get my um get the sleeper all organized. Move back in from the weekend being off and um get some vittles microwaved and um get some shut eye. We see you guys in the morning so we can get this thing empty. Until then, talk. To you. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. It's time to put in some work. I got to go and load some tires. <laughs> I'm about to get a workout in, y'all. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Here I go. Let's get it done. <laughs> Let's get it. These fine people. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, here we go. These fine people said I can go on my truck and go to sleep. Y'all the best. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. Hey, it just knocked on my door. Y'all done. I got, I got coffee if y'all need it. I'll take a nap. Appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all. Thank you. <laughs> Be good, y'all. Oh, yeah. Y'all don't understand how happy and excited I am that I don't have to unload this trailer. I am. I, I'm, I'm so excited. My coffee cup was open. I spilled. I was spilling my coffee as I was walking out. Just wet my entire glove up. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's how excited I am. Man, it was 600 something tires in there. They they weren't semi truck tires. Good. They were they were you know smaller tires, <clears throat> and they were loaded in there. It was really strategic. It was really organized. But I was told I was going to have to go in there and unload them. Uh, but this place right here. <clears throat> it's called um, Tire Rack, which I'm familiar with. I've, I think there's one in, uh, if my memory's correct, there's one in South Bend. Um, I think it's called. Um, but there, there's a big outfit. They had the whole conveyor belt set up and everything. Um, they, 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 they've done this a million times. They're ready for it. They said 30 minutes. I was told it could be three to four hours to get out, to get empty. They're um, they're saying 30 minutes. That is incredible. Uh, so I, I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna make me, I guess, another cup of coffee because I, I think I, well, I'm gonna drink this one, of course. Um, but then I'll make another cup of coffee before I roll. Um, this is great because there is a system coming through here. It's actually just south of me right now in St. Paul. I'm in Roseville, which is not much, 10 minutes, 10 miles north. Um, but the storm is down there, really. But it's swirling a little bit. It was heading straight east. It was heading northeast. Um, but it's actually, it's kind of swirling right now. The wind is kind of spinning. It's weird. It looks like a hurricane, but it's not, obviously. Um, but I'm going to run into some of it, of course. Uh, but this storm is supposed to go from 6 a.m. this morning to 6 p.m. tomorrow. Um, so we're talking a lot of accumulation. But this is great. I can get ahead. Uh, my 
unfortunately, my appointment isn't until five o'clock this afternoon and I'm about two hours from it. Uh, so if they're saying 30 minutes, man, I'll be out here at 9, 9, 15, <clears throat> which would put me there at 11, 15, 11, 30. Um, but, you know, maybe you, you know me, y'all, you know how I do, you know, all, these, all, these, all, all they can do is say no. You know, I'm a, hey, I'm here early, you know, storm coming through. You know, I can get a better shot of getting this load down to Florida um, if I can get out here earlier. <laughs> it beat the system. So, yeah, you know, all you can do is ask and all you can do is say no. But they just might say all together, yes. Hey, let's uh, let's try it. Let's trucking, baby. Let's trucking. Let's trucking. So, Let's see what happens, but uh, 30 minutes, I'll be empty, and uh, we're going to head on over to Augusta, Wisconsin, to pick up our load of canned food and take it south. Um, so you guys are great. Um, let's see how this plays out. Talk to you in a minute. Well, family, that was an easy one. Um, it was, that, wow, load of tires. I've heard horror stories when it came to delivering tires. I have heard absolute, absolute horror stories, um, but this was an absolute dream. Excuse me. Uh, I sat here and caught up with paperwork, and they got me empty. Took them about an hour, man, and I'm I'm out of here. Um, I'm about to head over to Austin, Wisconsin. It's starting to precipitate now. I know I'm going to head into some stuff. You know, just take your time and um, get there safely. That's really it right now. Uh, so I got a five o'clock appointment. It's um right now. It's only. 9:54 Central Time here, so I got a while before my appointment, but I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna give it the old college try. Just try it out, just see. But um, this trip is done. Load of tires successfully delivered, and uh, we're gonna move on to the next one. Let's let's travel this week. We got some miles to put ahead of us uh, as we uh, get down the highways and byways this week. So let's do it. Let's see you guys in the next one. And remember. Keep doing what you're doing so you can see what it does. Like and subscribe, please. Family is growing. The channel is growing. I'm excited about what, uh, what 2023 is going to bring us. Let's do it, guys. Talk to you soon.